And this week's Death Free Friday is all about pregnancy and money. But first, if this is your first time watching me, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gia. Hit the subscribe button. You will not regret it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this type of video. And for those who are already subscribed, of course, welcome back and I love you. All right, so this week's Death Free Friday was inspired by a comment from, and I think her username is better than we deserve. And it says, great video Gia, do you have a video talking about stork mode yet? We just found out we're expecting baby number two and I need all the budgeting advice I can get. I watched Gazelle and Tent's video and they were are wonderful. I would love to get your advice on it. Well, congratulations girl, that is awesome. What a beautiful blessing, congratulations. And it's almost like your finances have to be in survival mode when you're pregnant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to explain to you what me and my husband did when I found out we were pregnant with baby number two and what I would do for different scenarios, okay? So let's go back to after I had Zara. When I had Zara, I worked for a wonderful company that um, was such a blessing to women who had children because they gave women who had children that worked for them uh, 12 weeks off of paid maternity leave. Now to all of my subscribers who, are, who live outside of the United States, I know that sounds crazy to you because in the United States, uh, you know, maternity leave isn't something that's just automatically offered to women, especially paid maternity leave. We do have something called FMLA, which stands for Family Medical Leave Act, I think. And that will, that can secure your job for up to 12 weeks, but that is unpaid. So, uh, but my job, it was a paid maternity leave, 12 weeks, and it was such a blessing to us. And at that point, I we were just getting our finances together and I knew we were gonna have another baby. And so I immediately created a sinking fund uh, for when I had our, for when we had our next baby because I didn't know if I would still be working for a company like this. I didn't know where we would be, uh, where I would be at, if I would be able to take, um, a paid maternity leave so I wanted to ensure that we would have those 12 weeks saved up of my salary for when um, we did have a second baby so if you're able to after you have a, your baby if you know you want to have another baby make sure you save for it because you know and this includes all kinds of expenses not just your income while you're at home with your baby but any kind of medical expenses that can come up our healthcare system is changing almost seems like every day so you just don't know what's covered and what's not so it's good to have that little cushion um when you know you're expecting a baby so i know not everybody's in that in that situation and not everybody can do that so what i would do if i found out i was pregnant today i would immediately set aside the money any kind of money that you're paying towards debt or if you're saving for certain particular things right now your priority needs to be saving for the baby so i would immediately create a sinking fund for baby number two even if this ba is baby number three or even baby number one if you know you're going to if you know you want to have a baby at some point in the near future and when i say near future i mean within the next five years i would set aside start setting aside money right now so if you're in like i said if you're in the midst of paying off your debt or if you're in the middle of your financial journey or whatever it may be no matter what baby step you're on you need to save money for when this baby comes and then you can try to figure out what your um what your budget is going to look like and stuff after the baby comes there are several factors that can affect it i mean everybody knows that children are expensive okay so whether it be you want to become a stay-at-home mom or daycare or just you know the list goes on and on and on so you immediately want to start saving money right away and i'm actually really glad that we saved that money after we had zara because um the company that i worked for when i had ava did not have paid maternity leave and a lot of expenses that happened while i was pregnant i had to pay 
out of pocket. Like I ended up going to the hospital and having to stay overnight. And because our deductible was so high, we weren't expecting to have Ava that year. So my our deductible was high and it we ended up coming out of pocket quite a bit for uh, Ava's pregnancy. I ended up having a C-section and we had to pay out of pocket for some things. So it, I was so happy we had that money. And then we also had enough, you know, for me to stay home with unpaid uh, maternity leave for 12 weeks. So again, what I would do, the number one thing I would do is stop where you're at right now with whatever plan you're following, okay, and start saving money, putting any kind of extra money that you have instead of paying it towards debt, of course, continue to pay your bills on time, continue to just at least pay the minimum payment, start saving money until you get to the point where you have a comfortable cushion and then start putting all of your money towards the debt. Again, you just don't know what kind of expenses will come around, will arise during your pregnancy, during your birth, or right after the baby's born or while you're at home for maternity leave. But the most important thing is that at least you build that cushion so that you have the option to stay home for 12 weeks if you want to. You know, don't feel like you have to go back to work after six weeks or eight weeks because of money. You know what I mean? And I, I think if you want to, to stay home for the extended 12 weeks, I think every woman has the right to do that. And it's really sad that we, I, we live in a country that, you know, doesn't really support maternity leave the way that it should be. But again, you need to, uh, you have the power to create your own maternity leave if you want to. And that power lies in every the decisions you make every single day. Whether you decide to get that coffee or not, whether you decide to buy that pair of shoes or not, all of those little decisions add up to whether or not you wanna stay home with your, with your baby. So you wanna make sure that you make sure every penny counts, that you have a budget. If you haven't downloaded my free zero-based budget yet, download it, the link is down below, um, so that you can get yourself on track, start analyzing every single penny you spend, see where you can save and start putting as much money as you can away for the pregnancy or for the birth. So if you are already currently consumer debt free, I would then stop saving for certain sinking funds and create this baby stork fund okay because this is will be the most important sinking fund that you uh create or that you um save towards as you're pregnant or as you're finding out that you're pregnant or even if you're trying to conceive you need to do this so if you know you want to have a baby within the next five years definitely start saving a a stork fund right now because that will be the most important um sinking fund you have until this baby comes and plus you know, if you ha still have the excess funds, you could use that money for diapers, like daycare. I mean, the expenses go on and on for kids. So, you know, it will always be there. So that's what I would do if I found out I was pregnant right now. Um, and I, you know, our budget would completely change and my focus would be on um, saving for the baby. So that's it. I hope I answered your questions. Leave any questions down below. And if you have any advice, for her, leave it down below. I mean, when it comes to money and pregnancy, you know, to me, the most important thing is your pregnancy and, and the health of you and your baby. So that needs to come first. Everything else will, will you can clear up or deal with later. Your health and safety needs to come first and you wanna be able to do what you wanna do without having to worry about how you're gonna pay for it. The best you, thing you could do is start saving and creating a sinking fund for that right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe, subscribe button yet tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching have a great weekend and i'll see you in the next video bye